Hi, I'm Mark Olsey, founder and creator of Pledge Talk. I am so glad you are interested in knowing more about what to do and say when communication matters in your relationships. For the past 30 years as a marriage and family counselor, I have heard one complaint more than any other. One spouse or the other says, we can't communicate. I would go so far as to say that four out of five couples that I see bring that up in the first session. That's tough. We all want to experience good and peaceful relationships. We want to know how to connect with people that matter to us the most. Being respected for what we have to say is, is critical. We want someone to listen to us without judgment. At the very least, we want to be able to get along with those around us every day. But when it comes right down to it, communication isn't all that simple. It's often confusing and just plain difficult. The problem is not just in our marriages either. It's between us and our kids. It's between our kids. Communication can be challenging in our friendships too and where we work. In fact, anywhere two or more people get together, communication can get complicated. And so often in those difficult moments, when good communication really matters, we don't know what to say. And we are afraid of saying something wrong, of hurting someone with our words or of getting hurt ourselves. Sometimes we even feel hopeless, like no matter what we do or say, it's going to be the wrong thing and we consider even giving up. I remember one man in my office who sat through almost an entire hour of his wife ranting and raving about how disengaged he was in their marriage and family. She complained of how he had been like this for years and she had no hope of him ever changing. I turned to her husband and I asked him why he just sat there as his wife went on and on and why he doesn't speak up. Quite hesitantly, he simply said, I, 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 I don't know what to say. I sat there and I thought, that man's afraid. Whether he knows it or not, he's afraid. Somewhere in his life or marriage, he's been hurt. Quite likely, he's also caused pain with his words at times too, and he's become so afraid of being hurt again or hurting someone else that he has pulled back into his shell where he speaks very little, if at all, even to the ones that he loves the most. He doesn't know what to say. Maybe you can relate. Your boss gripes at you for getting the report in late. What do you do? Your teenager says, I don't care. I don't want to do what the family wants to do. How do you respond? Your spouse says, you always do that. And you know what you want to say, but going there doesn't help. Or a friend says, you're too busy for me or anyone anymore. And being defensive is the only thing that comes to mind. I had a friend recently tell me in the middle of a conversation, you are pretty stubborn, you know. I was stunned. Honestly, I don't think of myself as stubborn. I was completely taken aback and I didn't know what to say, at least at first. There were literally countless moments in conversations when what we say next really matters. We say the right thing and we breathe a sigh of relief as the conversation continues in a good direction. Say the wrong thing and woo! No telling where things might end up. If you are like me, you want to know the right thing to say and do at the right time. But so often we just don't know what that is. We need help. We need a guide. That's why we created Pledge Talk. It is a how-to for when communication really matters. When you learn Pledge Talk, you will know the very best thing to do and say in each of the scenarios I just mentioned, and more, much more. I can't promise you'll always know the right thing to say by learning Pledge Talk, but I can promise you this.
you will recognize six vitally important keys to every good conversation. Now notice, I didn't say learn the most important keys, but recognize them. That's because you already know what they are. The problem is, they are in the back of your mind where you don't see them. And by learning Pledge Talk, they will come to the front of your mind and you will recognize what you've been missing all along. Once you recognize the communication keys you've been missing, you will naturally start using Pledge Talk to transform for good every conversation that matters. And finally, by using all six Pledge Talk keys in a specific order, you will learn a simple step-by-step -step process that will guide you through those difficult moments you encounter in any conversation and show you exactly what to do to process conflict one step at a time.